Cars Channel News and Review Car. Two thousand seventeen Lamborghini Huracan Spider by O.CT Tuning. While the collective population of the auto industry is transfixed at the imminent arrival of the Lamborghini Huracan Spider performant, the aftermarket tuning scene continues to move along, busy as ever in its attempt to create the next great tuning program. One tuner in particular probably doesn't even have the Huracan Spider performant on its list since it just concluded developing a program for the standard Huracan Spider. Yep, take a look at this new tuning kit from O.CT Tuning for the roofless Huracan that puts the supercar's output up to an incredible 794 horsepower and 597 pound-feet of torque. Even by aftermarket standards, those numbers are beyond reproach for a car like the Lamborghini Huracan Spider. It doesn't have that much in the way of exterior and interior upgrades, but with numbers like that, I think O.CT Tuning can be excused for focusing its attention on the Huracan Spider's all-natural 5.2-liter V10 engine. Remember. This is the same tuner that gave us the OCT 800 supercharged program for the Lamborghini Huracan this time last year. That one may have had some decals with it, but the focus of that kit was also on the Lambo's V10 engine, and the results are right around what this kit can accomplish itself. There might be other programs for the Lamborghini Huracan Spider that offer more in terms of quantity, but when it comes to adding more power to that V10, there is only a handful that can compete with O.CT Tuning. We'll keep the upcoming Lamborghini Huracan Spider performance in our thoughts until it makes its hype debut at the 2017 Geneva Motor Show. The aftermarket tuning scene is filled with tuners that can make cars faster and more powerful, yet O.CT stands out. Continue after the jump to read more about the Lamborghini Huracan Spider by O.CT Tuning. On this front, it's clear that O.CT Tuning's focus on the Lamborghini Huracan Spider was to give it the performance upgrade of a lifetime. It succeeded in that regard, but the singular attention comes with a price, which you can see with the lack of any meaningful exterior upgrades on the Lambo. Now there's a scenario here where an exterior upgrades on the Huracan Spider are still being developed, but for now, we'll treat this program as it is at the moment. If you're disappointed about this, don't be. See, one of the beauties of the aftermarket business is the variety of choices customers have at their disposal. If one tuner isn't offering the kind of upgrades you like, you can opt to look at another program from another company. In the case of the Huracan Spider, there are two tuners that already have something worth looking into. What other tuners are offering? The first is Novitac Torado which presented its program for the Huracan Spider back in August 2016. It came with a program to the supercar's exterior that included aerodynamic bits like a new front splitter, rocker panels, side intakes, an engine cover, rear diffuser, tail lamp moldings, and a lip spoiler that itself can be traded for a rear wing. More than just the aero bits, the German tuner is also offering a new set of 20 and 21-inch 3-piece NL1 alloy wheels that can be wrapped in Pirelli P0 tires. That's a lot of pieces to consider for the Huracan Spider and for what they're worth, they combine to make Novitec Dorado's program a lot more appealing than what O.CT tuning has at the moment. Speaking of which, there's another tuner that has an exterior package for the Huracan that you might like. This one comes by way of Vo Performance, which released its Huracan Spider kit just last month. A new rear wing counts as one of the most prominent items in Vo Performance's list of exterior upgrades. That and an optional track-oriented rear wing and a bevy of other items, including carbon fiber mirror caps, a front spoiler lip, door handles, a fuel flap and a new set of 20 and 21-inch LM wheels that the tuner received from Mansory. Note, side-by-side -side photo of the Lamborghini Huracan Spider by Novitec Dorado and the Lamborghini Huracan Spider by Vo Performance. What Lamborghini is offering? 
Say you have a Lamborghini Huracan Spider and you have all these aftermarket engine programs available for the right price, it's not inconceivable to get the cosmetic upgrades somewhere else, like say, Lamborghini itself. The Italian automaker does have its sad person and personalization program that lets you choose from a vast palette of aesthetic add-ons. That's an appealing option to consider, especially if you can combine that with getting some useful aerodynamic mods. Combine those two elements and you cover all your bases. Off the bat, it's important to let the cat out of the bag. O.CT Tuning's program for the Lamborghini Huracan Spider, as presently constructed, does not have any interior upgrades. Maybe that's going to change over time, or maybe it won't. But that's a matter for another day. The good news here is that the cupboard isn't barren as far as the aftermarket business is concerned. There are other tuners that provide some pretty interesting options for owners of the Huracan Spider. What other tuners are offering? Take Vo Performance again for example. It may come as a surprise to some, but the tuner did its homework with a modest interior program for the top-down Lambo. There's an offer for a carbon fiber treatment on the air vents, door handles, and the center console. There's also a matte carbon cover just above the display unit to add an extra layer of bespoke appeal and their area also Alcantara covered sports seats and more carbon fiber on the entry rails and paddle shifters. It's not much compared to what's possible out there if a tuner really went all out on a car's interior. But what Vo Performance is offering is worth something to the right customer. Note, interior photo of the Lamborghini Huracan Spider by Vo Performance. Lamborghini's Ad Personam is once again an option here. I feel like I've hammered this point home enough, but it's at least worth repeating one more time, only because some customers might not realize the treasure trove of options they have at their disposal if they choose this route. Lamborghini's Ad Personam is arguably the go-to place to make your Lamborghini Huracan Spider stand out even more than it already does. It may not show itself that much with its exterior options, but the interior is really where the party's at. You name it, the Ad Personam personalization program might have it. Be it premium leather or Alcantara, there are numerous options to go between those two materials. Carbon fiber is also another item to consider, as is forged composite carbon fiber, which Lamborghini made famous to begin with. In fact, the latter is already available for all variants of the Huracan when it was only previously being offered for Lamborghini Aventador models. Ultimately, I'm not going to take it against O.CT tuning for leaving the Huracan's interior in stock configuration. In a day and age when personalization programs like Ad Personam can do the work on that end, tuners have more time to focus and work on the engine upgrade programs, which is their meal ticket anyway. Like most tuners, O.CT Tuning's offering for the Lamborghini Huracan Spider largely revolves around the car's naturally aspirated 5.2-liter V10 engine. No surprise there, right? What's also not surprising is that O.CT Tuning's kit for the Lamborghini puts its output up to 800 horsepower, which is exactly the same output that the tuner was able to coax out of its similar program for the Huracan Spider's coupe counterpart. The method behind the upgrade is similar to since the tuner relied on its supercharger kit to bring the Lambo's numbers up to where they need to be which in this case is 794 horsepower and 597 pound-feet of torque. By comparison, that output is more than the 730 horses and 508 pound-feet of torque Lamborghini got out of the Aventador S. The tuner hasn't mentioned how the massive increase in power, that's 192 extra horses and 184 pound-feet of torque, reflects in the performance times but comparing what the coupe version of the Huracan was able to do with a similar program, 0 to 62 miles per hour in 2.5 seconds, 0 to 124 miles per hour time of 8.3 seconds, top speed of around 215 miles per hour, 
it's reasonable to suggest the Huracan Spider covering the same 0 to 62 mile per hour ground in 2.6 seconds before maxing out with a similar top speed of about 215 miles per hour. Keep in mind its 0 to 60 miles per hour time is hindered by its extra weight.